Hey guys, this is Wayne here, and I just wanted to talk about the Alien Gear shoulder holster, okay? So, number one, uh, if you're going to wear a shoulder holster, it's kind of nice to cover it up with a vest, something like this, kind of hides everything. It also does provide additional warmth. I changed up my carry for winter, specifically to deal with all of the extra clothing that we have to deal with. Normally, we carry here uh, with just a, like a waistband. Um, <clears throat> and carry right about here with an extra magazine or two in there. Uh, for winter, it's very difficult to try and get through all of the clothing. I tuck my shirt in. It takes a long time to get to that area, and I'm driving most of the time. So between coats, sitting down most of the day, driving, and all the other things, I wanted a shoulder holster. So I read a lot online about them. Uh, they're really, really unpopular now for some reason. They were really popular before. Now they're really not that popular, uh, but I think they're starting to make a comeback and for these reasons why. So really right now, I've got this, I've got my vest, and then underneath the vest, this comes from Alien Gear, okay? Right here, it does have, you can get it in just the molded polymer, so it just kind of sticks and clicks in, or I actually kind of like having the little safety strap right here, okay? So you click the safety strap, voila, you are armed, ready to go. I've got my SIG 365, <clears throat> like so, 365X, and then it goes right back in. Now, the reason I switched to this one, I was carrying a Glock 43, um, which is a great concealed carry. It only carried six plus one, so six uh, rounds of nine millimeter ammunition plus one in the chamber. This is 12 plus one, so I can carry 13. The only reason I switched was the extra carrying capacity. I still like the SIG brand. I like their quality. I think their quality is on point right now. And after being a Glock carrier, and I still love my Glock, there's nothing against it. It's just simply an ammunition carrying capacity. They also have the ability to carry these 15 round mags, okay? Um, actually, the 15 round mag is in there. I apologize. This is the 12 round. This is the 15 rounder, okay? And it tells you right there on the side how many you've got loaded up as you load them up, which is a good indicator as well. So at any given moment, with one 15 round magazine here, another here, and if I carry two of them, you can carry almost a full box of ammo. You can carry 45 rounds at all times. So that is what interested me in that particular firearm. But more to the point, you can get this side, you can carry twin firearms if you like. You can have uh, holsters on both sides. I chose to go with the magazine holder over here. And I can really tell you, even though it looks and seems a little bulky, it's really not. I really don't notice it. I actually find this the most comfortable carry, even over this, because this you have to buy another pant size up or two. Uh, it gets in your belt. Um, one side, it's kind of lopsided. I almost always have a bruise right here when I carry right here. I'll have to go back to this in the summertime because I just won't have to be able to wear a vest. It'll be too hot to be able to conceal everything up here. Um, but for the most part, I love it. Uh, the shoulder holster is back for me, and I am thoroughly enjoying this style of carry. Uh, it's very, very comfortable, okay? So to load this thing up or put it on for the day, you just have these little hooks, and it's got all these stretchy pieces. I mean, the leather, the quality of leather on this is second to none. It's extremely thick gauge leather, and that's what I like. I only have to buy this thing one time. This will last me a lifetime, no matter what. So these two little clips slide in there. I'll show you how it comes on and off. Pretty easy. Just like so. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like all jumbled up. Nice, comfortable straps. Heavy duty leather. There's a little cushion in here. Very, you can see how thick of a gauge that leather is. It doesn't feel flimsy. Everything pivots and moves really nicely. You can adjust here. You can adjust here. You have several different adjustments here. You simply rotate, twist, move, and set it to a different position. And that will determine the carrying position that you have. If you want yours to be down a little bit more, you just simply reposition it and it'll carry it about like so. If you want it up more, you can carry it like so. I find my perfect grab is right about there, okay? So then put it on, it goes on that easily like so, like so, 
and that's all I have to do in the morning. Also, this is easier for me to take on and off. If I have to go into a place where firearms are not allowed, a courthouse, a government building, this is way easier to take off than taking my pants down, having to undo belts and buckles and all that stuff, and then put everything back on. It's a nightmare. This is way easier. I wish I could carry it like this all summer long, to be perfectly honest. However, I don't think I'll be able to do that. And then here we go. You got a vest, you got a jacket. As long as you only zip it halfway up, you have instant access to your firearms, even if you're sitting down. I can sit down like so, okay? Just like that. And then we're sitting, we're driving, we have a problem. Hey, I got a solution right here, okay? It's that easy, okay? I can defend myself faster and quicker and easier than any other style carry that I've done. This works great for winter. Um, I'm just saying, hey, you know, with the extra clothing, accommodate that and uh, check out Alien Gear Holsters. They are amazing. They did not pay me anything. They did not send me a holster. This video was made 100% on my own um, just because I like the product. So for more information, check out Alien Gear Holsters. I'll post a little link below. Uh, if you're interested in upgrading your EDC or everyday carry, uh, or just interested in possibly a new firearm, if you go look at that SIG 365, they make the 365, which is the smallest, 365X is a little bigger, and the 365XL is a little bit bigger. You can carry 10, 12, or 15 rounds in those, there's three magazine types in them. So it's almost like Build-A-Gun uh, or Legos. So I can really carry, <clears throat> I can almost, one firearm can do multiple things. If I'm in a heavier duty situation, I want that 15 round magazine. If I'm in a lighter duty situation and I want something that's more compact and concealed, because the, the only thing that sticks out is the magazine, is the um, <clears throat> is this portion here. So it's just a matter of how far it sticks out the gut, okay, the bottom. So I, I just love it. It's, it's done amazing. I've shot it um, several times, never had any misfires, uh, anything like that. It's very comfortable in the hand. The optics are great. Uh, I really just can't say enough about it, and that's from carrying the Glock 43 before. Still a great firearm. I would carry it any day of the week. Uh, this just meets my needs a little bit better. New products, new things come out, new technology comes out. They figured out how to shove more ammo in that same frame, and it works great. So for more information, check out the link below. Thanks for watching.